Bonjour, New Yorker. What are you doing here? I guess the same as you. I come to visit a relative's grave. I didn't know you had relatives in New York. Of course, I would never come to this continent if I didn't have relatives in New York. So why are you looking for a place to stay? Because they are dead. I'm sorry. <laughs> I bet you are. But I'm not, really. People always say I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm really very sorry. How can they be sorry? Lies. Formalities, more formalities. This is why I never say anything I'm not really willing to do or to feel. I totally agree. Then why did you say you're sorry? <laughs> I don't know. I just I thought, you know, I'm, I'm sorry that, that you're alive and it's fucking insane. I'm sorry, I can't stop it. <laughs> Hey! What the heck do you think you are doing here? This is a sacred fucking place. You are all going to burn in hell. You are all going to burn in hell. Again, in a golden world of opportunity, America's Kubla Khan. William Zeister will offer you absolute freedom, along with the pride of being an American, and asks you to join him in the crusade of finding and destroying those foes in the colonies. Let's go to the yeah. colonies, and don't forget to wear a hey, Latest scientific oh, yeah. reports it's indicate that the buildup of mutated insects has grown considerably worse in the mm -hmm. past three months due to the acid rains. They strongly recommend okay? use of the new synthetic anti-acid coats, ah. commonly referred to as shells. Um, Scientists also warn not right? to drink tap water under any circumstances without first filtering it. Contact with the insects causes immediate and irrevocable damage and or okay. mutation to way. human skin. Government officials announce that sirens will be sounded throughout the region at the slightest hint of the possibility of rain, offering residents ample opportunity. <laughs> Look, what? Honey, sweetie, your brother's here. Joke or something? <laughs> what is this? My sister died ten years ago. I do not find this very funny, so what the fuck are you doing? Adam, don't you speak that way. Can't you see this isn't easy for me? Oh, come on. Adam! Oh, sweetie. Adam! Anyway, after the accident, I didn't remember anything. Woke up in a hospital in Paris. 
Did you also learn how to speak French? Anything is possible. Well, what difference does it make? She's alive. She's here now. Are you hungry? I made a snack. When did you get your memory back? I still remember when your little hand used to comb my hair. Do you remember? I do. You know, in the hospital I had this memory of you taking care of me after I had an accident. And you know, you called it number two. <laughs> I still do. Don't I, Adam? I still call it number two. Did you have a number two today, Adam? And I remember the lake. I remember running on the shore by the lake and the way the sun would set. The reflections made it look like, like I was running on the water. Yes, I remember. You used to run along the shore and you'd say, Mommy, Mommy, why do I sink? You were so obsessed with the lake. Yeah, a great feeling to run on the water. Your brother liked the water, too. You like to be on the water, Adam. He was always going after his dad's boat when he wasn't supposed to. <laughs> Burned his hand twice. I can still feel the skin burning. Yeah, and still he took the boat. Adam likes to touch things he shouldn't. He likes to put his hands where he should not. I bet you still do that. What now, Lou? Well, um... Well, what do you mean, Mom? What are your plans? You gonna stay with me? <laughs> well, I don't know. It, um... It'll be hard to leave New York. Just for a few days? I don't know, Mom. I, I think I want to start a new life. Oh, please, just stay another few hours. Well, time to go. Coming back from the fucking dead! Stay there! 